Welcome to my YouTube channel. The Army Tactical Missile System, commonly referred to as ATACMS, is a sophisticated surface-to-surface -surface missile designed to deliver precision strikes at long ranges, offering the U.S. Army and Allied Forces a decisive tactical advantage. Developed by Lockheed Martin, the ATACMS was first introduced in the late 1980s as a response to the need for a missile capable of striking deep into enemy territory while minimizing exposure to counterattacks. This short-range ballistic missile is launched from the M270 Multiple Launch Rocket System MLRS, and the M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS, providing versatility and adaptability on the battlefield. One of its core strengths lies in its extended range, with the latest versions capable of reaching up to 300 kilometers, depending on the variant. This allows the missile to neutralize high-value targets such as enemy command centers, air defense systems, logistics hubs, and concentrations of troops without requiring friendly forces to engage in direct combat. The ATACMS is designed with a solid propellant rocket motor, ensuring rapid acceleration and minimal preparation time before launch. This solid fuel design not only reduces maintenance requirements but also increases the missile's reliability and readiness in combat scenarios. The missile body is cylindrical with a pointed nose cone, housing the guidance systems and payload. The guidance system incorporates an inertial navigation system INS, augmented by GPS technology, providing pinpoint accuracy even in challenging operational environments. This high-precision navigation capability ensures that the ATACMS can effectively engage stationary and certain moving targets while minimizing collateral damage, a critical consideration in modern warfare. The payload configuration of the ATACMS varies depending on the variant. Earlier models, such as the M39, carried a warhead containing hundreds of M74 submunitions designed for area suppression against soft-skinned vehicles and infantry. However, Later versions like the M48 and M57 have been equipped with unitary high-explosive warheads, optimized for striking hardened or high-value point targets. The unitary warhead design greatly enhances the missile's effectiveness against fortified structures and provides better compliance with international regulations concerning cluster munitions. The warhead is detonated via a programmable fuse, which allows for either airburst, point detonation, or delay modes, depending on mission requirements. Structurally, the missile features control surfaces at its rear, including small aerodynamic fins that assist in stabilizing and steering the missile during flight. Once launched, the ATACMS follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory, meaning it travels along a high arc flight path but incorporates maneuvers to evade enemy air defense systems. This flight profile, combined with its speed of over Mach 3, makes it extremely difficult for enemy forces to intercept. The missile's airframe is designed to withstand the thermal and mechanical stresses associated with high-speed flight, ensuring it maintains structural integrity throughout its trajectory. The launch platforms for the ATACMS are among its most important components. The M270 MLRS is a tracked, armored vehicle capable of carrying two ATACMS missiles in launch pods, while the lighter M142 HIMARS is a wheeled vehicle carrying a single missile pod. Both systems can deploy the missile rapidly, with minimal setup time, and relocate immediately after firing to avoid counter-battery fire. The integration of the ATACMS into these mobile platforms allows forces to conduct, shoot and scoot, tactics, enhancing survivability on the battlefield. The missile system's command and control components are equally critical, relying on advanced fire control software and secure digital communications to receive targeting data from ground-based observers, unmanned aerial systems, or higher command elements. Variants of the ATACMS have been continually improved to meet evolving battlefield needs. The M39 Block I had a range of approximately 165 kilometers and carried a cluster munition payload. The M39A1 Block IA increased the range to about 300 km through improved propellant and a reduced payload. The M48 variant introduced a 500-pound unitary warhead for precision strikes, and the M57 further refined this capability with upgraded guidance systems. The latest modernizations are focused on extending range, improving accuracy, and integrating new warhead options, ensuring the ATACMS remains relevant in a rapidly changing combat environment. Operationally, the ATACMS has been used in multiple conflicts, including the Gulf War, Iraq War, and various recent engagements where precision long-range firepower was required. Its combat record demonstrates not only its lethality but also its psychological impact, as enemy forces are forced to account for its reach and accuracy.
the ability to strike command posts, supply depots, and air defense batteries deep in enemy territory disrupts their operational tempo and weakens their defensive posture. Maintenance and support for the ATACMS are streamlined through modular design. The missile pods are factory sealed and require minimal on field servicing. This approach reduces logistical complexity and ensures that missiles remain in optimal condition until they are needed. The digital integration with modern targeting systems also means that the ATACMS can be deployed in joint operations with other precision strike assets, creating a coordinated, layered attack capability. In the context of modern military strategy, the ATACMS represents a critical bridge between traditional artillery and strategic missile forces. Its ability to deliver devastating firepower from safe standoff distances makes it invaluable for suppression of enemy air defenses, seat deep strike missions, and precision interdiction. With ongoing upgrades and the eventual transition to its successor, the Precision Strike Missile PRSM, the ATACMS continues to serve as a vital component of U.S. and Allied arsenals. Its combination of range, accuracy, lethality, and rapid deployability ensures it remains one of the most formidable tactical missile systems in the world today. Thanks for watching.